Ah, Earth. We know it as a wet and wild place, but it wasn't always that way. Way back 4.6 billion years ago, when the solar system was first forming, the inner part was bone dry. Heat from the sun vaporized any ice that dared to wander near it, leaving the rocky stuff that would become Earth water free. So how did water get here? For a while, some scientists thought water rode here on icy dirt balls called comets. But the chemical signature of comet ice doesn't match that of Earth's water. So comets are out. That leaves asteroids to carry the load. Wait, asteroids have water? Yep. And they brought water to Earth? It's possible. How does that happen? Well, it's kind of a crazy story. Here's what the solar system looked like a couple million years after it formed. There was the sun, a planet which we now call Jupiter, and one that we now call Saturn. There were some rocky asteroids between Jupiter and the sun, and there were some watery ones between Jupiter and Saturn, and there were some farther out with Neptune and Uranus. Let's keep it simple. Forget Neptune and Uranus for now. Let's focus on Jupiter, Saturn, and the asteroids. Okay, so about 70,000 years after Jupiter forms, the gas disk circling the sun pulls the planet inward, throwing some rocky asteroids out of its way. A few thousand years later, the sun pulls Saturn inward, too. But Saturn starts crowding Jupiter. It gets all up in Jupiter's space. Their close gravitational dance flings them both to the outer solar system. In reaction, a bunch of icy asteroids shoot into the inner solar system. These watery intruders collide with the stuff that's already there. More and more collisions make bigger and bigger rocks, which become planets. Until finally, everything in the inner solar system is exactly as we see it today. Seems like an incredible story. It is, but it may not be unique. Something similar may have happened somewhere else in the universe. That means there could be other wet and wild worlds like Earth out there, maybe in galaxies far, far away, or one much closer to home.